Hi, Martin Logan here, and I'm going to show you how to create a MokiWeb web application in just a couple of minutes. We're going to create that in such a short time, starting with a box that doesn't even have Erlang installed on it. We're going to do that by first downloading the Faxian Package Manager. Like I said, we don't have Erlang installed, but that's not necessary. Uh, you know, Faxian allows you to start up and manage OTP packages uh, and manage Erlang virtual machines themselves. So you don't really need to install Erlang, but what a lot of people do like to do is install Erlang from source and then just use Faxian on top of it to manage the various packages they have installed with it. So we downloaded the Universal Launcher, so we're going to run it. It's a Python program, so we'll say Python Faxian Universal Launcher. You can see here that it prompts me to install in the standard Erlang location. This is for people that want to install over Erlang OTP itself and use Faxian as the package manager to manage from a, already a base uh, that the standard airline distribution gives you. I don't normally do that. Uh, I don't have that installed. I'm going to install in the kind of traditional Earlware location, which is user local Earlware. So what this is doing now is it's pulling down a bootstrapper that's specific to my operating system and hardware platform. With that complete, Faxian asks us if we want to run the bootstrapper. We do. First thing that it does is untar Faxian, and then Faxian goes and looks to upgrade itself. In doing so, it found differences in the configuration file between the original version and the latest version of Faxian that it found. Where it shows us those differences and asks us if we want to use the old configuration file or the new. We're going to use the new. All right, Faxian is done. Now let's install Earl C and the Earl shell. So we type in Faxian IR Earl. IR is short for install release. We're going to install the Earl release. And we do indeed now have the shell. If you look in user local Earlware bin, I've got all of Faxian, you know, Earl C, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, moving on. Let's finally install the build system, Synon, Faxian install release, Synon. Synon is what we're going to use to build and create OTP releases and applications, uh, which is essentially going to be, in this case, our web server. OK, with Synon installed, we're ready to get started. Synon Gen creates a project for us. Specify my name my email address, specify the project name, we'll call this simple Oki web, and now let's specify an app to create within that project, we'll call it the Moki web app, and that's the only one we're going to create. Here we go, we have a build.cfg which is a Synod configuration file, we have a bin directory, which contains the simple MokiWeb bin file that'll get installed for us and allow us to start our release just the way we start the URL or the way we start Synon or so on and so forth. Config directory contains configuration and lib contains an app. So MokiWeb app we created. First thing we're going to do is modify our .app file, which is in the eBin directory. We are creating a passive application, a library application, so we don't need the default URL files that Synon creates for us, or Synon Gen creates for us. We're going to create a different one called Moki Web App Index. We're going to get rid of the registered name that Synon generated for us. Synon expects that we're going to create an active application. We're creating a passive one, so we don't need the, we're, we're creating a library application, so we don't need the mod tuple either. And we're going to add one extra dependency, Moki Web OTP. MokiWeb OTP is a thin wrapper around MokiWeb that the Chicago Airline user group created in our last code sprint. And this allows us to configure servers in kind of a more standard way and so on. It uses a completely untouched uh, MokiWeb, so MokiWeb will behave in the way that you expect it to behave. Um, and MokiWeb is a dependency of the MokiWeb OTP application. So let's back out of that. Now let's go into our source directory and we can delete these two default generated modules which we're not going to use and let's create our own. So. 
and I'm using Emacs with the Earlware mode installed, so I'll use the skeletons to generate a library application. We're going to create one function called handle. And that's going to handle all our incoming web requests. So when an HTTP request is made, it goes into the handle function. MokiWeb uses parameterized modules uh, for a nice elegant interface, although I, I should mention that parameterized modules are not a supported part of the application and could go, or supported part of Erlang OTP, and could go away at any time, though it's highly unlikely they ever will. So when we get a request in, we're going to send back a 200 OK, and we're going to give the body hello Chicago Erlang user group. And that's that. So save that, exit, and let's go back into the root of our project. Here's what the MokiWeb OTP allows us to do. It allows us to configure this release in the standard OTP fashion. And Synon supports that through the config directory and the default config files sys.config. Okay, there we go. So we added some configuration for the MokiWeb OTP application. It takes a key called instances and the value of instances is a list of lists and each one of these lists represents a Moki web, web server. We're going to create one. We're going to tell it to listen on port 8080 for localhost IP, and all incoming requests are going to be delivered to MWA index handle function, which we just created. All these configuration values are the standard Moki web config. Moki web OTP just passes those through to Moki web, so you can read the Moki web docs to figure out what other config you're allowed to put within one of these instance lists. So that's done. Now we're ready to compile. Synon tells us it can't find MokiWeb OTP. That's because we haven't installed it. So fax in, install app, Moki, MokiWeb OTP. Pulls that down. Let's try again. Oops, look, can't find inets. MokiWeb uses uh, some inets utilities modules. So Synon found that transitive dependency for us. We better install it. Try again. And whoop, finally MokiWeb. So let's install that. All right. There it is. Synon built our project, which only contains one module, MokiWeb Index. Now we'll create a Synon distribution tarball, which we could pass off to other machines and use Faxian to install and so on. But we're not going to do that in this case. We're just going to install it. Faxian understands that we're in a Synon directory, so it will know where to find that distribution tarball and install it locally for us just by typing Faxian install release. Here it tells us, do we want to install it? Yes. Okay, that's installed. And now let's go ahead and try to run it. Simple MokiWeb. Okay, so we're started. Here's the big test. Localhost 8080. There it is. Hello, CEUG. So that was uh, almost no time at all, and we have a full OTP release, MokiWeb web server, up and running. I hope that goes some way to illustrating to you the power of uh, the OTP standard. So happy Erlanging. Please send any questions you have to uh, either the Chicago Erlang user group mailing list or earlware-questions at googlegroups.com, and uh, I or somebody else will be happy to answer them. Thank you.